Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video, we have seen what is unit step function and unit displace function and also the result to important note what happens to the function f of t when a unit function is multiplied to that function and also uh, what happened to the function f of t uh, minus a when it is multiplied by the unit displace function. So in the last learning video we just uh, left one result uh, that I wanted to quote there. So that result you have to remember here is Laplace transform of f of t minus a into u t minus a is e to the power minus a s into Laplace transform of f of t that is f of s. Okay. This result would be handy in solving the problems on unit step function. Okay. So without much ado, let us start with this problem. Okay. So whenever uh, such type of problem is there, so the very first thing is whatever function is given to you, you have to express in terms of the unit step function. Okay. So you can write given this. Okay. And you can start with. Uh, the given function, the given function, can be expressed, can be expressed as, as unit state function, can be expressed in terms of unit state function as now see here the very important thing that you have to make the unit step function and how you can make the unit step function just see here we have to make the unit step function f of t so i have written f of t now what is the first function we have e to the power t so you just write down that function as it is in the interval 0 to 2. So how you can make it as you can write u to the power t minus lower limit minus u of t minus upper limit. Clear? Very simple. Likewise you can do for the second. So what is the second one? Second one is 0 into only one limit is there. So u of t to the power minus 2. Simple, this becomes the unit state function. If you want, I can write it nicely as e to the power t into what we can write? We can write u of t minus e to the power t into u t minus 2 plus 0. Okay, now uh, try to... Uh, write the unit step function as if it is uh, t minus 0 it should be t minus 0 if it is like t minus 2 in function also you have the same term so you can adjust here e to the power t into u of t minus now here i can make one adjustment that is e to the power t minus 2 plus 2 u t to the u of t minus 2 Okay, so this f of t, this f of t is equal to e to the power t u t minus e to the power 2 into e to the power t minus 2 into u t minus 2. Very simple. Now you got the function. Take the Laplace transform. Very simple. This implies Laplace transform of f of t is equal to Laplace transform of e to the power t into u of t minus e square into Laplace transform of e to the power t minus 2 into u t minus 2. Simple. Now use the result that I have quoted. So I have quoted this result. So this is like f of t minus a u t minus a so what is the value of a here that's 0 so you can write to get the feeling of that result e to the power 0 s into laplace transform of e to the power t minus e square into 
what you can write e to the power minus 2s into Laplace transform of e to the power t. Simple. Now e to the power 0s is 1. So Laplace transform of e to the power a t is 1 upon s minus a minus e square into e to the power minus 2s into 1 upon s minus 1. So what is my final answer? Laplace transform of f of t is equal to 1 upon s minus 1 into 1 minus what is it? 1 minus e to the power 2 minus 2s or you can take 2 common and you can write 1 minus s. Okay, 1 upon s minus 1 into 1 minus. Is it correct? Yep. e to the power 2 minus 2s. Correct. So, if I take 2 common, so it would be like this. Okay. So, this is the final answer to this problem. Very easy, very simple. Okay. Now, let us take one more problem in this. So, the next problem is... Uh, express f of t as uh, in terms of unit state function and uh, find their Laplace transform. So this is the problem we have t square 4t. Okay. So as usual the sentence will be as it is. The given function can be expressed in terms of unit state function as this. So f of t. What is we have taken the same uh, range 0 to 2 and t, uh, t greater than uh, 2. Okay, so what is it? t square into this plus what is it? 4t into this. Right? So this is t square into u t minus 0. That is okay. Okay, and what is the second one? This is minus t square and this is 4t into u t minus 2. Now what you can do here is you can combine the uh, second and third term. Okay. And how you can do that? And how you can do that? You can do that by uh, first term as it is t square into u of t minus. Uh, in the second term you can do one thing. Uh, you can uh, take uh, t minus to common and writing the positive time uh, term first. So this is 4t minus t square into u t minus 2. Okay. Now as I said, whatever is there like t minus 0, so t minus 0 would be there. So there is no uh, headache of this one. Now as you can see, here it is u t minus 2 and we don't have a term of t minus 2. So we cannot apply this result to get the uh, unit step uh, Laplace transform of unit step function. So, to get that, I am going to make use of the Taylor series expansion, okay? So, Taylor series expansion of the function, this, around the point t equal to 2, okay? So, we can write here, we know that, so whenever you are writing, we know that, ask yourself, what we know? We know that the Taylor series expansion, you know that the Taylor series expansion for the function for the function g of t for the function g of t at around a point around t equal to 2 is given by is given by what is it g of t is equal to g of 2 right because we are finding at uh, t equal to 2 so it should be g of 2 plus t minus 2 into g dash of 2 plus t minus 2 whole square by factorial 2 into g double dash of 2 plus and so on. Okay. 
Now what is my g of t? I will take this to be my g of t. Let g of t is equal to 4t minus t square. So what is g of 2? g of 2 is 8 minus 4 is 4. And then what is g dash of 2? Sorry, g dash of t. g dash of t is 4 minus 2t. And g double dash of t is minus 2. So what is g dash of 2? g dash of 2 is 4 minus 4 that's 0 and what about this g double dash of 2 is minus 2 no need to find out a further terms because derivative got 0 so all the term of the Taylor series beyond this is 0 so what is it therefore g of t what is g of t this 4t minus t square can be written as what is it the function g of 2 that's 4 plus t minus 2 into uh, g dash of 2 is 0 and then t minus 2 whole square by 2 factorial is 2 into g double dash of 2 is minus 2 okay plus 0 so this get cancelled so we have 4 minus t minus 2 whole square okay so we can write down now my new uh, unit state function f of t as we can remove this now so we can write it as f of t is equal to what is it this is as it is t square into u of t and what about this function in terms of u t minus 2? So this is 4 minus t minus 2 whole square into u t minus 2. Okay, easy. If you want, you can uh, just take the Laplace transform now or you can write it uh, very nicely. So this is t square into u t plus 4. Okay, no need to no need to write. You can directly take Laplace transform. This implies Laplace transform of f of t is equal to Laplace transform of t square into u t plus Laplace transform of four minus t minus two square into u t minus two. Now I just have to write down the Laplace transform. So what what it would be uh, giving you? So applying this formula. So this is e to the power zero s Laplace transform of t square plus what is it? This is e to the power minus two s into Laplace transform of four minus t square. Simple. Now. We just write down these Laplace transform of this and that would be the required solution okay so this is Laplace transform of t square is 2 factorial upon s cube this is e to the power minus 2s in bracket what is Laplace transform of 4 4 by s minus Laplace transform of t square 2 factorial upon s cube this is Laplace transform of f of t very simple okay so this is done now so the answer is uh, 2 factorial upon uh, is that 2 factorial yeah 2 factorial i don't know from where i got this uh, 2 factorial this is uh, yeah t square t square is 2 factorial upon s cube and this is e to the power okay yes correct so i am getting uh, this to be uh, this f of t is equal to okay so i hope the problems that i have taken is clear to you so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you